All right, YouTube, what is y'all doing? Back again with another video. Today I got the steering rack bushings in. And that's what we're gonna be installing today on the GS parked out there. I looked online, they said it wouldn't take more than maybe, I don't know, an hour to do. So it's probably gonna take me like four. I picked these ramps up from Walmart. I hate getting under the car, so I'm gonna use those and some jack stands. I actually had some of these is what I used to install the exhaust on this car. And I feel pretty comfortable under there with using those. So I'm going to try that again. I shouldn't be under that long according to what I was reading. So this shouldn't be too bad, I'm hoping. I'm try and get this done before, before Sunday. And I think it's like 5.30ish right now. So sun, it's usually dark out here about 8. So... That should probably give me more than enough time. Um, as always, it looks like it's gonna rain out here. But that doesn't matter because I'm gonna be in the garage. So let's get some cars moved around. I'm gonna put that GS right here and put the ramps under there. And just get into it. They actually don't look too worn out to me. This is something I did right here that's damaged. But I'm gonna go ahead and try and get these other bushings in. This is a freaking workout. I'm just like under the car. But got the old ones out. Putting the new ones in should be easy because they don't have to be pressed in. It just, you kind of build them like this. Put that in there and then just like that. So thinking that's gonna be easier, but let's get into it. As you can see, she's back on the ground. Unfortunately, we still having that same issue. I've just about given up on this car at this point. Uh, I don't know what else to do with it. 
I can't get rid of the noise. I really don't want to put any more money into it at this point. So you might see this for sale. Somebody else's problem. I mean, the car runs good. See? Hey. The car runs good. Uh, in fact, I got it through inspection. So if somebody want to come pick it up, let me know. I'm about sick of it. I always wanted a GS, but not under these circumstances. I knew that getting a car from the auction would be a challenge. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna put any more money into this car. I thought about taking it to a shop and letting them figure it out, but that's gonna cost money and I really don't wanna put any more money into this car. I'm kind of fed up with it. I've done ball joints, out of tie rod ends, I put a strut on this side. Pretty much everything that turns the wheel. I just did the sway bar bushings. And it's still making that noise, guys. So I don't know. I'm confused at this, on this car at this point. Anybody got experience with the Lexus GS, let me know. I'm pretty much sick of this car at this point. But anyway, I'm all dirty and stuff. As you can see, it was really nasty under there. But... I know this has been a short video, not really informational, but been working on this. As you can see, I got it done before sundown. Uh, probably took me a little bit over an hour to complete this. Uh, I ran into a few issues with trying to take stuff off. Uh, as y'all can see, I'm in the passenger seat on my own whip, which is weird. It's always weird riding in the passenger seat of your own whip. But anyway, anywho, we left off in that last clip. I was probably getting pissed off with my car. Anyway, I broke down and took it to a shop because I was like, I don't want to keep throwing parts at it. So I went to a shop to get it diagnosed. And uh, we're going to talk about like what they quoted me and everything they found later. But the moral of the story is they don't think that the noise that I'm hearing is a safety concern. They think that it's just binding. The strut is binding. So, I guess the bearings in it is bad or whatever. I placed the one on a driver on a passenger side. Sorry, they saying the one on the driver side needs to be replaced too, which is not you know something unheard of. But anyway, I'm finna go up here to pick it up from the shop. Um, like I said, we'll talk about talk more about that when I when I pick it up. Look like they washed her up for me. Somebody short was sitting right here. Shout out to all my short people. All right, y'all. So we're gonna try and get her on home. This is like really bad. You cannot see out here. As y'all can see, my alignment is really off right now. That's because I got those tie rods replaced. So yeah, they think I just need to replace the front strut right here and this shit quiet it down that noise should go away i mean other than the wheel alignment being off everything feels solid ac's blowing cold had a feeling it probably it probably isn't anything big i got them to inspect the whole rack and make sure everything was good they said that that was good so supposed to be some toyota guys and they've been there for a while but yeah we're, we're gonna have to get into um <clears throat> i'm gonna just I'm gonna go through the inspection sheet when I get back home and we can go through what all they think needs to be done to this car. All right, I don't know how well y'all can see this. Uh, made it home, just sitting in the car looking through this inspection that they did. And um, spend a minute, spend a second talking about this. So they did a whole suspension diagnostic. So what they found is, so starting out for the strut replacement, they quoted me twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Um, replace valve cover. Send the valve cover gaskets are leaking. The funny thing about the the valve cover thing is the valve cover gaskets were replaced by them less than twenty thousand miles ago. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't think the valve cover gaskets are leaking, and if they are, somebody didn't do a good job installing them. But they quoted me four hundred and ten dollars for that. But this is this is the kicker right here. I don't know how well y'all can see this. I'm sorry if y'all can't see it that well. 
for hood stretch, they quoted me both hood stretch three hundred and thirty seven dollars. You cannot be for real for hood strips. And the rest of this stuff here is just flushes and different things like that. This is actually not as intense as I thought it would be. I think some of these quotes are a little steep. A lot of this stuff I plan on doing on my own. But yeah, so I tallied all of this stuff up to see like if I wanted them to do all of this work to see how much it'd cost and it was $5,300. <laughs> $5,300. So if somebody, you know, gets a car, this is this is the beauty of like doing your own work and understanding like used cars and that sort of, that sort of thing. Somebody that had this car, I don't even put the service history on here. This is enough to actually total this car with the amount of work that they have. And this is not taking a shot at these guys. From what I understand, they do great work. You know, I think some of the estimates are a little high, but you know they're probably using a lot of oem parts and things like that so i mean this is what you would pay if you you know got this work done with them probably be more if you went to the dealership but the point i'm making is this is the reason why you know it's good to learn about cars and things like that you know especially like minor stuff you could do on your own i see this car had a tune-up at 168,000 miles that must not have included spark plugs because they were shot by the time i got the car so the only thing on this list that i would probably go back to them for is the wheel alignment which they quoted me to be about a hundred dollars i believe i don't see it on here but it was like a hundred 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 fifteen something like that give or take for a wheel alignment as you can see i definitely need one of those mm -hmm. because obviously my wheel alignment is pretty bad but yeah, so now my course of action is see what I can do about that noise. Obviously, I want that gone. That's the, the reason why I took it there, to get that inspected. They seem to believe that the strut on this side is binding, and that's where all of my noise is coming from, which I guess would make sense because I thought I was hearing it over there at first. I replaced that strut, and it went away, and then I was hearing it over here. So maybe they both were just bad because usually the ones that you find, you have to like put together and things like that. I don't really want to get one from the junkyard. I usually try and stay away from suspension components from junkyards. But uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. They, they think it's the strut mount. I'm not too sure. I guess, like I said, I'm just taking their word. Definitely not about to pay $5,000 for it. But definitely hear some squeaking going on. Now it sounds like it's coming from that side. So I guess next I'm gonna try and go and get the tags for the car because the ones that I have are expired right now. So your boy out here riding dirty. But yeah, that's probably gonna conclude this video. I'm sorry that it's kind of all over the place. It's just been like a lot going on with me trying to get this car fixed and everything. And it's just been the challenging thing. Overall, I got a lot of, I'm getting a lot of experience working with the car or cars in general. Doing a lot of stuff that I wouldn't usually do having car problems that I don't usually have. <laughs> so it's been a learning experience. It's making me better at doing this type of thing. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. I don't know what I'm doing in the next video. I really need to, I really wanna take like all of the seats out and everything and like just give it a, like a really good cleaning on the inside. But I don't know, maybe I'll do that next weekend uh, in my next video, sorry, maybe I'll do that. But I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do about this, this whole strut situation on this side. That's going to conclude this video. Yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.